Uncle Mark here, welcome back to the channel. Uh, just uh, not doing an auto repair, but installing LED lights in my house. How hard can it be, right? Just replacing normal bulbs, the screwed ones, with LED bulbs. Yeah, they worked for a few months. Now I'm having troubles. I'll show you how you can find out if your lamp is LED ready or not. So we'll take a look at this lamp here. I'll take the uh, shade off first. I didn't realize what kind of lamp this was. Bought it used, only had normal bulbs in it. Turns out this is a tri-lamp, like one of those that does three different brightnesses. So if you look here at the base, it actually says uh, what it really is. I've never noticed these before. We've got a bunch of lamps in the house like this. Uh, you know, used lamps we got from wherever. And right here, you'll notice this is three-way. Use three-way bulbs. Well, we always use a regular bulb, and it's worked fine. Because it does, it either works or it doesn't, right? But the switch is a, I don't know if you want to call it a three-step. So the first one, I guess, would be a low power. Second one, I guess, is middle, which it works. And the top one is maximum. So normal bulb, it works in the last two positions. Put an LED in it, and that's a problem. So I unplugged it here. And we're going to take a closer look at it. Now, I'm not an electrician. figure I can maybe swap it over for just an on-off uh, socket that I picked up at a local hardware store. So, first of all, I was trying to figure out how this shade it comes off. It looks like if you lift these up, you see what's in here? I think if you lift them up, I'm going to lift them as far as I can. Hold them with one hand. I think you can squish this. There you go. You see, you see how these are? They just hook. That's that little guy there. Now, I don't know how the rest of this comes apart. Is that a twist? Or is this whole thing twist? Huh. Take the bulb out first. Then I'll see what oh actually comes out. Interesting. Wonder if I can just switch that with the new guts. I don't think so. I'm just gonna try and so Crank that. Oh, yeah, okay. That's coming off. You see that? Good, 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 good. Hopefully, it's a standard thread for my new one. This is just on and off, and I actually got it to click sideways. Figured it'd be easier. Here's hoping. I think we're gonna have to do is just cut these. Knife, I think we're just gonna cut them. Well, it's gonna be easier if I have proper. Cut towards your body, not your buddy. No, <laughs> it's the other way, right? Cut towards your buddy. Got your body. There you go. I don't know if that's savable or. You know me, I won't throw it out. Pull that off. Just down through here. Hopefully that. No, see, it doesn't screw on there either. Wonderful. Who came up with such design? I wonder if this can fit 
in here. Possibly. Well, oh, it's the wrong kind of top, though, right? <laughs> really? Nothing standard, is it? No. I wonder. That goes on there like that, right? Uh, of course, that's not a standard size either. Won't fit in there. Guess it can. Thinking we could cut this side down just like that side. Hopefully, it don't break it. Then we can just screw it down. What do you think? Just have to figure out how we're going to cut this open because the switch needs to have a hole on both sides, right? Ideally, if I can make a hole right there, just like that one, then I could just like fit it in there. I hope. Put in the vise first. That way it won't move around when we drill. This drill bud look like it's about the same size, just a little bigger. I think that'll work. Drill hole and then the switch can slide in. I'm a little concerned because the switch is, uh, it's not really a plastic, it's very brittle. Now we'll see, see how it goes. lower we're intended to drill uh, it kind of slid down a little bit it's gonna be a little lower than I wanted but you know it'll have to work the holes there but I can't get this uh, part of the switch to f slip in there I thought there was enough room I could just angle it and it would go in but no nope. so no we're probably gonna have to cut a slit in it Stuff's almost like bake light from the 30s. It's phenolic. It's like glass laminated with cotton or something. Uh, figured as much. <clears throat>
I'm really hoping not to break it. You know, so far so good. Put the top on it. Ooh, it's a little up and down a little bit. That's because it didn't hold didn't go in the right spot. sure it's fairly tight and uh, the switch is going to clear that uh, lampshade holding piece pull these guys out a little bit and... oh, try and get some wire bear Now it looks like we're in the home stretch. Just pull the wire from the bottom back down. I get that to sit in there properly. I'll try it again. Pull the wire from the bottom. Come on. There you go. Put this back together was the top now. It's going to sit in there. And I think I'm going to leave that sticker on there just for whatever reason. So I guess we know what the maximum bulb should ever go in there. They're talking like 100 watt. Guess what it's saying, something like that on there. I'm gonna be using LEDs now, obviously, but so you can put a pretty big one in there. Mix in the switches from the side. It's gonna be kinda nice, just click on, click off. This lampshade holder back on. Remember how that goes on? You just kind of squeeze them. They fall in those little pieces there and those little doodads, clamps, whatever, hold it in place. Come on. You know what? It's not on the bottom there. It's hanging on the top somewhere. I'll show you in a second. Here. There. <laughs> Feels silly. The uh, original 60 watt bulb in there that I had before, so make sure it works. To, it's a little tight because that socket, is, the inside of the socket isn't sitting in there very well. There you go, on off. So we know that works. Let's grab an LED now, the one that's going to go in there. Yeah, this was 60 watt. Now the one I'm going to put in there is a 60 watt equivalent, but it's only six whole watts so that's kind of nice so we'll be using you know quite a bit less power this is just when we're watching tv or something you just want a little bit of lights and you don't fall if you have to go to the bathroom or some fun thing like that let's tighten it in there far enough yeah it's gonna work 
bulb should last. Put the shade back on and somebody's your uncle. If I can find that little twisty thing there for the top, the little nut. There we go. Yeah, never knew this was a three-way lamp, and I see I've got two other lamps she bought too that this is a three-way. Well, or tri-light, I guess is really what it's called. I don't need tri-light. I'm trying to save some light, save some power. Works fine. It's got a little mess now to put away. And I'm done. Ta-da! Should work. So who would have guessed it? It's possible that uh, your lamps are three-way, like the tri-light. And uh, if you have non-dimmable bulbs, like the ones I'm buying, because they're a little cheaper and I don't want to dim them, uh, they don't like the incorrect voltage. They just like what they're supposed to run at at full power. Anyway, not a problem. Now I've got a few more lamps I'm going to have to change over uh, very soon. If you like the uh, video, why don't you give me the thumbs up? You can also subscribe in the far right-hand corner if you haven't already. I've got a bunch of playlists too. Most of them automotive related. If you've got uh, certain types of vehicles that I've been working on, maybe I can help you save yourself a few bucks. I like saving myself a few bucks. Till next time, Uncle Mark saying, check out the rest of the playlists. You take care until uh, we talk again. Bye-bye for now. Remember to be safe. Your safety is your responsibility and should be priority number one. Also, give me the thumbs up if you like the video. Plus, please subscribe. And you'll get all the notifications. It's easy. The little dog will show you how. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. I'm going to see if I can, so I think what I want to do is, well, you stay tuned, I'll explain how.